In the last year, I've had these episodes of like urgency to pee, peeing frank blood, I started getting a fever and some pain. Good morning guys, I'm sitting out here on the back porch, editing the vlog, just finishing up. Bonesy's joining me over on the couch. Mary's just inside. Uh, you only see a reflection in the window, but she's inside doing her best. Getting started on the day. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna do some yard work. I have a few things to do to get ready for. I'm gonna be planting grass back here in the backyard again. This was always the plan that I would plant grass in the fall. Um, we kind of planted temporary grass that didn't last very long in the spring. And so I need to get the yard ready again for planting. And I've got a few things like Mary's uh, little zinnia patch over here. I need to uh, finish doing the wood border around that and do some weeding around the air conditioners and you know, stuff, stuff around the house, which it's kind of getting to that perfect time of the year. I think we're out of the super hot, high 90s kind of days and more like 80s to 90. Feels good to be outside doing some work. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Let's get this vlog up. I'm uploading the vlog right now and in the description of the video you can see that I always put see what we were up to in years past and now that we are in year seven there are six ye years of back like backlog of videos so like you could go back on this day August 25th and watch the video from 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and this video is 2020. I just think that's a crazy reality that this is year seven. Peter's finishing his lunch and pulling up. Oh, that was such a beautiful butterfly. Um, we are still sitting outside. It says that it feels like 88 and it feels really comfortable. So that's where we're at in the summer, where 88 feels comfortable, I just, super comfortable. I just told them how we're like at the like, sweet spot. Are you serious? Yeah. Anyway, we are logging on. We have a 1215 prayer call every week. So we're logging on. Okay, bye. All right, I just finished up some yard work and I need to get a few things from the hardware store. So I need to do that stop at the post office and just run a couple of errands. Here we go. All right, I am home. I got some mulch for the back flower bed. And I just looked out the window. Oh, look what Peter brought home. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Did you get it for me? And me. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh no. That is not good. That is not good. Okay, oh dear. Okay, why? Why are you so mad, Mr. Flowers? 
I mean, I just watered it recently, but I will water it again because it looks crispy. And the dinner is done. It has cooled off a little, so it's not like bubbling anymore, but it should be perfect for eating now. And there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. I was working on clearing out, this was all weeds around these bushes here. I need to finish this wood border like we have over there. He had started it. I think, you know when you start a project and you <laughs> never finish it and then you're like, I gotta get that done. Yeah, that's what I was working on. Hopefully tomorrow I can finish this border. I need to cut some of the wood with the saw. But I cleared out, made a pile of weeds. And then I took a shower because I got into some poison ivy. So hopefully that tech new stuff works like poison ivy wash. I've been using it ever since I got, or whenever I'm working in the yard and think of, that I got into some poison ivy, I use it to wash off. I don't know if it works, but I figure it's worth a try. Anyways, it's a beautiful night out here. Mm. I need to trim back in the back where we have the lights on the back fence. There's like viney plants that grow from the adjacent yard kind of over the fence and we love it it's a cool look but it's starting to cover some of the lights so I need to trim some of that and yeah just projects we're working on trying to get things in order so that once I plant grass I can kind of stay out of the yard until that grows I'm so excited I was gonna put you on this crazy contraption. Have you ever told them about this? Oh, um, I don't think we ever have. This is how we make our hats. It's a heat press for our patches. And um, we recently used it to make some <gasps> tote bags. Oh yeah! I made a stack of them. You guys oh. wanna see these? I am so excited new about these. I choose Joy tote bags. Here, I will um, like show them how big it. it is and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, this is how big it is. <laughs> don't don't judge my um. I love your outfit. Don't judge my choices. I love your choices. It was. I was. I choose you. I choose you too. Hmm. Okay. Show us. Okay. Show us how big the bag is. So. Well, here's a 15-inch computer. Okay, there we go. A 15-inch computer that doesn't work. <laughs> My screen is pretty broken. I thought there was other things that are broken, too. Well, yeah, it's not working so great, but it fits in your bag great. That's true. Um, what else? And what would? How about our water bottle? Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. Do what you think you can't do, water bottle. This is cool. A oh hat. wow, a hat. Okay, here, get a load of that. I feel like I feel like we should do a uh, like fill the bag for twenty dollars. That would be a really good deal. <laughs> um, We're not actually doing that, people. Let's what else? see. Mm, what would be? Oh, this could get trippy. A tote bag inside of a bag. <laughs> Mm -mm. How about okay, this that's a large. Let's do this T-shirt. Okay, look at that. So oh. we're still going strong. In reality, we have the measurements for these bags on the website. <laughs> but we are being very helpful. We are so helpful. Um, a lot of keychains. Yeah. A whole Cel lot. Celebrate the guys. little things, keychains. Wow, those keychains are. Heavy when you have like a hundred in your bag. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen our keychains? Uh, did we ever show these on the vlog? Here, hold it up to the camera real close and we'll get a little macro. Don't forget to celebrate the little things. So, I mean. Oh, on on your. You mean. I like it. There are no rules against that. I like it. So, then there's that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so far I have 100 or more, maybe? Yeah. Keychains. 
a hat, a water bottle, a shirt, and so, a computer. So in reality, you can fit a lot in that little tote bag there. Yes. But if you don't need to carry, oops, all of those, just like a reasonable amount of stuff. Mary really likes the tri-color. I really like the tri-color a lot. So it's black canvas and gray, or like, do you call that? I call that like natural canvas. Yeah, natural canvas. Yeah, and gray. Yeah, I really like it. But, it, well, let's compare it to the do what you think you can't do tote bag, because some people have those and might wonder the size. I think it's probably about the same. Are uh, the, are the handle, oh, okay. Slightly different shape. Oh yeah, and the, these have a like, what do you call flat that? Bottom. Flat bottom versus these don't. So, yep, there it is. There. That looks good. Hold on, I'm it's so blurry. Excited. It's blurry. So, okay, anyway, he just put these patches on this morning. That's why we're all jazzed about it. Yeah. But um, one so of the fun. other things that we talked about at my CF appointment okay. is something else that's been going on, which ha it started like, okay, the camera died, but welcome back. What were you saying? Like, uh, uh, what? Your I sister just, left her sweatshirt? I just found my sister's sweatshirt. I saw that this morning. Uh, come back. Come back. Okay. Um, okay, so basically like a month after starting Trikafta, uh, Peter and I went for a jog and we were like, yes, this is amazing, like victorious. And then that night I started with like urgency to pee, um, peeing frank blood. I started getting a fever and some pain and it was like, oh, are you kidding me? I'm getting a kidney stone. I had a kidney stone like 10 or 12 years ago. No. I'm wrong. What was it? It was about nine. Ten. Yeah, nine. I don't know. Eric and Denise, when'd you get married? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nine and a half years ago or something. And it was the kind of kidney stone where it was coming from my kidney. Anyway, it got blocked. Like it blocked the kidney or something. So I got a kidney infection. So they put a stint in. And I haven't had like. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've had any kidney stone symptoms since then. So like for almost a decade. So then this night, it was a little different. And we're talking about a year ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a year ago. Um. Anyway, that happened. They tested me for like a UTI, which I have never had. But they tested me for that, it wasn't that, and they did an ultrasound, couldn't see any kidney stones. So they said it's either that the kidney stones are too small or maybe you already passed it, they weren't really sure. So then we were like, okay, so I just kind of got through that. It was a couple of days, whatever. And then we were like, that was weird. And then basically in the last year, I've had these episodes of like basically what I just described four times and sometimes it's more severe, sometimes it's less severe, sometimes it's more pain, sometimes it's less pain and I, my doctor was saying like it could, it could be like small kidney stones, like, like I said when we discussed it a year ago, it was like, well, they might be too small to be seen in the ultrasound or possibly like bladder spasms. Um, they ran me again uh, two weeks ago just to make sure there wasn't like any infection or anything and there was no infection. So we have no idea. But anyway, I was just saying that to say that was something else we discussed at my uh, CF appointment. Um, we have some possible things we might try in a month or two. Because this is kind of like... It's not just those four episodes, but more than that, Mary's having like urgency to pee and stuff like that. Like way different than anything I'm used to, like different than my normal. Yeah. So uh, we were, you know, talking about like medication we could potentially try if it is bladder spasms. Um, but we won't start that until like a month or two because we just started the two new migraine medicines. 
and you don't want to start too many things at once or else you don't know which side effects are from what. Good news is I'm not having any side effects from the amitriptyline and I didn't have any side effects from the Maxol, although the Maxol didn't do anything that first time. But I messaged with my doctor today and updated her on how the headache thing went yesterday. Like, you know, I tried the Maxol, did the second dose, it didn't do anything, et cetera, et cetera. So she gave me instructions for the next time and we're gonna stay on course with the amitriptyline and see if it helps. All the things, so that's my update. I Thanks feel, for your update. I feel really weird with the camera right now. Oh, okay. Can you just like, just model your outfit for us? Oh, look at that. <laughs> but I felt so cool earlier. I had my my new Gap Factory six dollars and ninety nine cents shirt on, and I had my little. I like, like your shirt. Um like jean shorts, mm -hmm. but then the peeing thing started and I just needed to be comfortable. Oh, I love the tie-dye with the camo. I think you're a trendsetter. Just saying. And? As always. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Don't you think Good night. Oh, update. Good night on the Good night. 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 Good night.